Hello guys, I am PF Gaming. Today we are going to review the computer game How Things Work in Busy Down, based off the fictional town of the same name featured in books by a random guy named Richard Scarry. It was released for DOS systems in the mid-90s and is a point-and-click adventure game for very young infants. This title was submitted to me by a friend of mine for some reason. And again, it is a game designed for very young children. Many games for toddlers during this time were mostly just low-budget cash grabs with very little entertainment or educational value, so I have set forth to answer the question. Is this game different? Is it worth playing? Does it deserve to be so obscure? The game seems to start off with good presentation, the animation in this intro here looks pretty top-notch for a game nobody really cares about. It also says the game was made by Novo Trade the same good people behind Power Rangers Power Active Math. Now we enter the actual game and into busy town, with the funny little worm in a flying apple hovering over your mouse pointer. This game is a pack of small mini-games, like a million other kids' games during the time. So far this game feels pretty substandard. Each building in the town represents a different activity, each with its own gimmick. Let's just hope that at least one of these are good. Before anything though, I'd like to address one complaint. I know you probably can't see it considering the quality of this capture, but the graphics, while appearing fine at first glance, murders your eyes with the pixel contrast. Maybe it's a problem with the emulator that I used to play this game but the colors look like ass. Let's move on to the first mini game, the recycling plant, before I need a contact lens. On to the first mini game, the recycling station thing. I chose this one because it looked the funniest and so I had the highest expectations for this one. In this first one, you move the cat guy around using the cursor to sort trash into different machines so that way it can be recycled. There's just a small little problem with this. The controls suck balls. The speed your character moves at is fine, but it moves incredibly stiffly. It feels really heavy, like you are playing a game of tug of war with the world's largest dishwasher. Because of the stiff controls, I made several goofy on mistakes when I didn't have to. Again, maybe it's a problem with the emulator, but who even cares at this point, it's the only way of playing you could afford nowadays. Other than that, it's pretty basic stuff. You sort things with the controls holding you back and pretty bad cursor position detection. After that, I went to the new studio. This isn't even a game. It's a horrifying close-up of the funny little worm like a creepy detailed scene in the middle of a Spongebob episode. If someone were to be this close to me I would have to call the cops. All you do here is get your child to sing some stupid songs about busy town. Nothing else. Up next is the toy factory. It uses the same control scheme and same drunken characters from the recycling minigame, except now you're going to different machines, picking specific toys to deliver, and that's it. There are also some random traps you can fall in dotted throughout the factory, so good luck kids. Next is the bakery. It's basically what you would expect from a minigame in a kid's game about baking stuff. You move around to grab ingredients to put into a bowl and then cook the ingredients for a certain amount of time. What more could there possibly be? Oh, in my playthrough it took a million different steps and slips with the awful tank controls just to cook a bread roll in the oven. Doesn't seem like a good sign. But so far, I feel like this is the best mini-game so far. Sure, it's very similar to the others where you clunkily move around and do errands but I like how it's designed. It has an atmosphere that makes it feel like it's a real bakery, from the looks, the little touches, all the way to having to swipe ingredients off the shelf a million times. So well done, bakery mini-game. You had some effort put into you. Up next is a factory, or as the game calls it. An assembly line. This is a mini game where you choose a specific vehicle to build from a list of them and then build it. I chose a steamroller because they are funny. And this what you do. You wait for each part of the vehicle to move on the conveyor and then drag them onto the place where they belong. It's as slow and tedious as it sounds. Hey, but at least I got to hear the demonic sound of the roller itself which I can't play because my recording software is being poopy and only inputted the audio from my microphone and not the in-game audio. Still wasn't that worth it. Next is a farm. 
In this mini game, you do a few things to grow wheat in the soil so that way a busy town doesn't turn into an African village. One of these things is use a tractor, which when you use it, it's even harder to control than a normal character, mostly because you have to worry about incredibly blocky turning that fights you trying to progress. Other than that, you just cover the field and grow wheat. Just wheat. That's it, the last minute game I played for this video was the flour mill, because I thought that there really wasn't that much else to see. This game is practically just the same as the assembly line except you're putting together an entire mill and we have a levitating hippo that doesn't even bother climbing ladders to play as. Out of the entire 25 minutes I played this game, the best thing about it was the funny little worm character. The backgrounds I guess also look kind of nice if you can avoid the pixel contrast. So, for the question I asked at the beginning, no, the game didn't stand out. It was a jumbled compilation of pretty slow and clunky mini-games with little rhyme or reason. There's no real point genuinely checking this out for educational purposes, except if you or your children are a fan of busy town and like doing slave work as a source of entertainment. So, overall, this game gets the unfunny. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and always remember to look at games objectively. Even if you're a Bill Clinton.